I'm Jim Herbert, Mathematics Center at National Teachers College, Kavari. I hope forever you are following the guidelines for protection against COVID-19. So, in this video, we are going to discuss the Macaulay series, which is a continuation from the last series. So, we are going to read, we are going to assume a function which is which is in series in ascending powers of x. That is, fx will be equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared plus a3x cubed up to the nth term, which is a n x power n up to infinity. So when you differentiate this function once, will be f prime of x will be equal to here the derivative with respect to x of a constant term is zero the derivative of this one because this is power one so one times here will be a one one minus one because reduce the power by one to become zero so that this is x to power zero which is the same as one so we shall remain with a one plus Then this will be here this power times this will be two and then you reduce the power by one to make it power one. So it will be two a two x x power one now plus three a three x power two plus up to the nth term now this will be n times a which is n a n x then you reduce the power by one which is n minus one up to, up to infinity so we differentiate this function again to get f prime prime of x should be equal to this will be zero then this one now it is one power one here one times this will be two a2 x power 0 which is 1 plus now this times this will be 3 times 2 a3 x now to power 1 plus uh, when we differentiate this again shall get f prime prime of x which will be equal to this is now a constant term the derivative is 0 so here, this one should have been differentiated up to any, because this times this will be any times n minus 1. Then here we reduce this by 1 again, the power by 1, so that is, you have a n x n minus 2 plus dash dash. So if we differentiate the whole of this again, the constant term it will be zero. This one will be now three times two a three x plus up to this term which is same as n into n minus one times n minus two a n x n minus plus dash dash so uh, we if we differentiate again the same trend will continue now here we differentiate up to the nth term so the nth derivative of x I'll have n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 up to 3 to up to 1 then a n and this will be to x power power 0 as you can observe the other trend each one of them was having x power 0 so now, if we substitute x equals to 0, 
in each of the expression here we shall have f of 0 equals to a naught because when you put here 0 0 0 0 all those terms become zeros and we remain with a naught f equals to 0 so this one will give us a naught is the same as f equals f of f of 0 so if we do the same to this function put here 0 0 0 0 we shall have f prime of 0 equals to a1 which means a1 is the same as f prime of zero if we do the same the second derivative we had to this one so if we substitute here zero zero we shall have f prime prime of zero will be equal to 2a 2a2 which will mean a2 is the same as f prime prime of 0 over if we do the same to this function put here 0 is already 1 and put here 0 we shall have f prime prime of 0 because to 3 times 2 times obviously 1 then a3 plus 0 so it means a3 will be equal to f prime prime of 0 over over 3 times 2 so we do the same to the to the nth term so if we do the same to the nth term we shall have is missing but we had the nth derivative as fx equals to n n minus 1 n minus 2 3 times 2 times 1 of a n x power 0 plus up to infinity so when you substitute also zeros there shall have f n of zero equals n into n minus one n minus two up to three times two of a n so that our a n our a n equals f n of zero over n minus n minus 1 is n n minus 2 3 times 2 times 1 so that is our a n term so that now we have f of x is equal to here we have got this as f of naught of 0 plus f prime of 0 x plus f prime prime of 0 over 2 factorial plus f prime 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 of 0 
here this should be x squared over 3 factorial x cubed up to the end term which is plus up to the end term which is f n derivative of 0 over n factorial x power n so this expression is Maclaurin's series so if we for example if we try it in an example if we try out if our f of x for example is cos cos x so what we shall do here we shall first of all get f prime f prime of x which will be negative sine x we shall also get f prime prime of x which is negative cos x we also get f prime prime of x which is sine x get f maybe nth derivative of x which will be cos cos x and so on and so on maybe let me get the nth derivative so the fifth derivative which will be negative sine x so when you substitute zeros in your, each of these functions you shall find that uh, f of zero cos of zero is one f prime of zero sine of zero is zero f prime prime of zero here we get negative one here it will also be zero here this one will be cos of zero is also one is also zero so that's what we have got now if we substitute them in the general form of Maclaurin series so we shall have our side so we shall have our cos of x has one plus this is zero Plus, this is now negative 1 x squared over 2 factorial plus 0 plus 1 x over 4 over 4 factorial plus 0 and so on. So we realize that now cos x is the same as 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x power 4 over 4 factorial may again plus minus now you see the trend minus plus minus now this obvious will be x power 6 over 6 factorial Then plus x power, power 8 over 8 factorial and so on.